The reason that individuals become Quaytown relators is about as varied as the Quaytown relators who bring the cases. They, they go all the way from corporate or professional Quaytown relators who go out and look through public data and try to find cases to bring all the way down to the nurse who is upset at the way the doctor is uh, performing or, the, or her organization is billing or to the person who is simply fired and is looking for a way to get back at the company. Not every Quitom Relator is good, not every Quitom Relator is bad. They are a wide variety of people who think they believe that their organization is violating the law and submitting false claims. You must remember that the government only intervenes in about 20% of Quitom cases that are brought. And in that 80% that the government doesn't intervene in, that only results in about 3% of the recoveries. So many times when a Quitom Relators thinks that something is wrong, it might be wrong, but it doesn't rise to a level of the False Claims Act, or they're wrong. But in that 20% of the cases, there are $5 billion recovered last year in that 20% of the cases. So these are situations where people rightfully or wrongfully think that their organization is violating the law and that eventually that decision is made by the lawyers in the Justice Department or maybe by a court.